Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back with Dire Wolf 20. Now, I have been busy between episodes. I've been making crystals. So if you see these bad boys over here, these are perfect crystals, max stats. And I've already used a couple to make lenses and stuff like that. Uh, and I kind of figured out crystal farming. So I've got myself, yeah, I got these right here, nice. I already got five max stat ones, and I'm working on some more. I've got some general uh, decent ones. And yeah, this is just kind of garbage. So I'll show you the process that I've been using, and you know, then we'll get into making some other stuff. Now, I know uh, Direwolf has a video about automating this, and I just didn't feel like, uh, you know, copying his build. I don't mind a little bit of manual work. So, last episode, we dropped a bunch of these uh, crystals in here. And I did a little bit of reading on how to improve my chances on things. So, check this out. If you go ahead and plant your stuff on star metal, it increases the speed to grow and gives you a chance of getting a double crystal. But your crystal growing is going to turn it back into iron, and so you need some collectors uh, to be able to turn it back into star metal. And that's kind of what I got going on here. I went ahead and made myself a prism lens, a nice perfect collector crystal, and I'm just experimenting with it. These two, yeah, that puts out a lot of starlight. Like, this one guy is keeping these four going, and you can see this one guy's having trouble doing two. Uh, so I like that. You know, it was just something different. So what I would do is I would grow up a bunch of these. So let's take some of these that are, you know, I don't think you're done. I don't know. It's always hard. Which ones are done? You've got to look at the size and be like, yep, you're done. I think they're all done, honestly. Uh, let's see. Where'd you go? Yep, right there. And so I'd farm a bunch of these, right? And you don't have to do this many. You know, I've you're going to spend more uh, liquid starlight than you are crystals. And so I would look at these. Ah, right there, purity, 100%. Now that is just random and lucky. So I'm going to take a lot of these garbage ones, and we'll throw them in my garbage chest. 82% purity, 100, you stay with me. Yeah, 46, 90, 41, 90, 58, 78, 89, 84. All right. So I got lucky and I found one pure crystal. Uh, so what I've been doing is I've been keeping aside the ones that have high purity. 96, something like that, right? Uh, 98 right there. And then I've been growing and splitting these guys. And what I've done is if you come back here is I've got just a bunch of these constructors that are constructing starlight. And it's hard to see, but right here, this one crystal has now grown and split into two. So I'm going to move that there, and let's see what we got. I'm actually going to end up picking up like five different crystals when I do this. All right, so I picked up uh, two pools worth. All right, so we've got, yep, there's a purity 100 and another purity 100. Oh, I got five, I've got five purity 100s. So they're really small now. And their cutting is poor. But that's exactly what we're doing is I will uh, take one that's close and I'll dunk it in here. And we'll let it grow for a while. And then if it splits, great. If it doesn't, I will grind it back down with my invisible grinder. There it is. I don't know why the model does that. So let's see. You are going to be my good stuff to grow chest. So that's basically how we've been doing it. You know, is... I just need to spend a bunch of starlight. Oop, there's a split one right there, too. This bad boy split. And that's how you can increase purity, is you split them, right? This is 99%, and there's 100. So now I just have to grow the 100. Oh, and there's another 100. So all I've got to do is grind this guy down and grow him back up a little bit. And there's another 100. So I'm going to put the 99 back in and split them again, just like that. And, you know, this is probably a waste of some starlight. Oh, man, there's another split right there. All right, let's see what we've got here. 100, 100, 99, 100, 100. Man, I couldn't have tried to organize this better on camera if I tried. 
I like it. So we got a whole ton of 100s. And then it's just this easy, right? So this one, that's size 900, purity 100%, but cutting 49. So let me just do this. I would slap them on the wheel. And, you know, we're going to turn the wheel for a minute. Uh, let's see. And then I'll take them back off. There you go. Cutting 100%, purity 100%, size 763. So it just needs to go for a bath for a little bit. And when it comes out, that will be a max stat crystal. All right, so max stat crystals, no longer really a problem. Let's see, these are my good stuff chest. All right, so I kind of got that figured out. So in the background, I'm going to make a ton of these guys. I just want to pump this thing up a little bit, but that'll take a while. Like literally going to try to make like a stack. And it has used a ton of my starlight. Yeah, I'm down like 350 buckets right now, so I might have to chill for a little bit. But what I want to do today is... Oh, where's my resonating wand? Hello, resonating wand. Where are you? You know, this is weird. This is the second thing I've had disappear from my inventory. But I just assumed I was a giant derp and lost it. Uh, let's see. Resonating. Oh, okay. This one was me derping. I put it in the system. But, oh, I did lose this. But this is what I wanted to show you. So this thing from Thermal, you remember how many times I've struggled to find a larger bucket? Well, that's what this guy is, the Reservoir. It is a big old bucket, right? So I can do this right here. Ah, I love it. And then when I want to fill up this uh, Reservoir, I can just click on a tank, boop, and I took the whole tank, right? There we go. I got 37 buckets in there, and this is only a Tier 2. I thought that was really handy. All right, so what I want to do today is I want to make this guy right here, the Stellar Refraction Table. So we're going to start that one crafting, and the Stellar Refraction Table needs a special kind of glass. Infused glass right here. And so that's going to need resonating gems, stardust, glass lenses, and then any colored lens. And I made a bunch of these green ones right here because they were super simple to make right, is not that costly. So let's go ahead and grab some of the stuff here from this chest. Just like this, we'll pick up our table. And let's look at the recipe for this glass. So this is resonating gems in the corner, stardust in between, and then lenses. All right, so let's go ahead and... Nope, 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 right here. Resonating gems in the corner, and stardust... And, you know, I probably should make two of these, I think. I've got the supplies to do it. Right there, and then two of those, two of these, two of those. Yeah, I was going to say, wasn't that the recipe? <clears throat> oh, we got to wait for nighttime to go by. I'm going to take this stellar refraction table. We'll go ahead and just stick it down right there. I kind of made a little podium for it. We're going to need parchment, which I've already made. And, you know, parchment is pretty easy, right? So paper around aquamarine, not really a big deal. All right, it's nighttime again. Go ahead and make me my glass. And this is one of the things I wanted from the mod, is I wanted to be able to get these enchantments that I think this will be really handy for us very shortly. Uh, that's going to take a minute, maybe. And then we're, you know, we'll play with this for a minute, and then we'll upgrade the altar to the final tier. I can see if there's anything to do there. I might make the last piece to automate that guy in the background. All right, so did I get... I got just one. All right, one will do. There you go. Start crafting the second one. So we're going to take this infused glass. We're going to slap it on the table. And, oh yeah, I got to put my parchment in the table. And let's see. Then I come in here... And I've got to overlap some symbols, and this is what's in the sky right now. So let's see. I am definitely... Yeah, I want these three right here. So let's take Amara, and let's take Fornax, and let's see how we could line up Fornax here to give us the most things that kind of overlap. Uh, no. You know, these guys don't really line up that well. So maybe something like this, maybe? And then I'll try to throw Decidia on top of it. See if I can overlap anything. 
Maybe like that. There we go. Got it first time. All right, so I can take my paper back out, right? And I now have, let's see, can I get this? I now have engraved glass with durability of 10. So if I put this guy back in here, and I need to give it something to enchant. And so, you know, potions or books, I guess I'll take a bunch of this with me. And so let's throw it a potion and, you know, see what's going on here. So it's going to go ahead and enchant this thing, right? Cool animation. And let's see what we got here, uh, like that. So I got fire resistance, strength three, resistance two. Eh, it's not amazing, but plus nine attack damage. That's kind of nice. Let's try a book. Let's try a book and see what happens. Uh, can I? Oops, nope, didn't mean to do that. Let's put the book in there. I just want to, I'd like to be able to see what's going on. But I got to make a bunch of these glasses because I want to play around with what enchants I could possibly get out of this guy. Fire Aspect 3, Flame 2, Scorching Heat, Sharpness 6, Power 6, Protection 4. Yeah, let's do that again. Let's do that again and make a different book. Yeah, and I think I'm going to stick to books at the moment, not potions. So I'm just going to stick all my potions in here. And let's grab this other glass and we'll make a different one. All right, so what did we get in this book? Uh, you know, more sharpness. Okay, so these guys are pretty similar. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's take out this one. And I had a thought. This has durability. Could I put this in the item repairer and repair it? I don't feel like it's doing anything. It's certainly applying power to it, but I don't see it changing. All right, well, I'll use this item repairer somewhere else. I was hoping that this would be a thing, but apparently they thought of that. All right, so let's put the glass on. Let's grab some more parchment uh, right there. And, you know, I don't know the uh, overpowered combination. Uh, let's see. So your defense, your attack. Uh, let's try this guy. And I don't know. Um... Well, you really don't overlap that well. Maybe, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe we'll try something different here. No, you don't overlap that well. How about you? Ah, uh, you don't do too bad. You don't do too bad. I don't know, something in here, maybe? Oh, denied. All right, let's try this again. That is certainly a possibility. Right, right there. Nope. And this is what happens. You go through, oh, tons of parchment, trying to get these guys all lined up. It's, I don't know if it's a random chance or if it just doesn't like how I'm trying to line up constellations. Oh, got those two. All right, let's put some attack power right on top of it. Oh, made that one. All right, so now we've got, uh, let's see, now we've got this guy. Let's throw a book in there and see what happens. See if this is worthwhile at all. Yeah, it's a good way of getting a bunch of enchants, and now I can take these off these books. And, you know, I got a way to get Sharpness 6. So what's that? Efficiency for Sharpness 6, Power 6, and Night Vision. Night Vision. I like that a lot. I like that a whole lot. That sucker's going on my helmet. I want Night Vision and can't get it with all the armor. Uh, so let's do one more, and then let's go do something else. But I mean, that's generally what this is. Play around with things. So there's more efficiency, sharpness, power. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to save those for later. Very, very cool. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, let's just empty out here a little bit. We'll throw some of this back in here. And I think I might put this other glass just right in there. All right, so that's that guy. Now I want to unlock the final chapter which means I need to make a new altar. And I should have all the altar pieces right here. So let's make the final altar, the iridescent altar. Oh man, so uh, an X shape with sooty marble and an attuned crystal in the middle. Okay, wait, did I say sooty marble? No, ruined marble. 
All right, so right here, right there, right here, right there. I do remember the glass lens was above it. I think those guys were there, and I feel like these were here. Oh, man, nailed it. All right, go ahead and make the final altar. All right, so we'll get this, because I want to see what happens next in the book. Oh, which reminds me, we ought to go look at perks. All right, so we had the basic perk, and now I've got two more that are open. I could either dodge incoming attacks or take less damage for falling. I don't take any falling damage, so I want this one. All right, so then I've got the next ones. Can save you from death, and uh, I can go naked and still have armor. Eh. All right, so yes, we got the next altar. All right, and that opened up Radiance which is a lot of the wands. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so if I hold the wand in my hand, if I attune it like this, I can uh, do more damage, you know, offhand kind of thing. That's all right. I need to make this chalice. And we could make the ever-shifting fountain. Uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Might be useful. I don't know. I got to look up to see what this machine does. Um, I don't know. Does it make starlight? Like, this is a whole nother thing. I'm not sure I want it. I don't know. I'd love to hear if you guys know a lot about this one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think it just gets you starlight, but I'm not sure. Yeah, and that looks like it needs a certain constellation to be out. Uh, recall in the large areas, the Fosic Resonator could gather its information... I don't know. I've got to look this one up. That's why I wanted to upgrade the table. But now that we've got... Uh-oh. Oh, it's telling me the uh, structure's invalid. I'm like, now that we got this one, now I can make this one last piece. So let's go ahead and... Hmm. I've got to upgrade the, the thing here. And I think... Hold on. I think it's in here. There we go. So i got to put wings on the columns. Right, and then, okay, all right, all right, I get this, I get this. So we'll just do this, because it shouldn't take but a second, right? We'll go ahead and do that. And there we go. And then I should be able to come out like this. I think that's how that works. Right, is just like this. And if I remember looking at it, they just don't touch. Yeah, I think that's right. And we'll find out in just a minute when we try to use it to see if it tells us if it's valid or not. All right, last one. Right, right there. Get rid of this block. All right, so are you valid? Yes, you are, and you're almost completely full on starlight. Wow, that's pretty good. And then I know to use this one for certain things, I've got to add these guys to it. Right, right. There, right here. I guess they can be just somewhere around, but it needs it for certain crafting. And you know, I think we got enough time. Let's uh, let's go back and make this one thing that I've been wanting to make in Radiance. Let's see. Well, we might have time for more than one. Let's get this. The Containment Chalice. So I need Resonating Gems, Gold, Sooty Marble, and Star Metal Ingot. All right. So that, and those, and gold, and sooty, and we'll get gems, right? I'm going to need some more gems, but this is exactly why I want to make this. Okay, and let's look at this crafting. All right, so gold, star metal, gold. All right, so I get this gold, gold, and then it was like star metal, maybe? Man, I got bad memory. Let's uh, let's look this up. Alter. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. What was that thing called? See? Bad memory. Chalice. Gold star metal, gold sooty with star metal above it. All right. Right? And then I guess I should just keep looking back, because I didn't do that part right. All right. And then just resonating on the side. Resonating on the side. Cool. There's the chalice. And then I should have to put... Oh, that's got five. 
it has five. Where do I put the fifth? Do I, do I put you in here? Right? I remember this being four. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I gotta look this up now. I don't remember. Let's see. Another magnification. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Placing an attuned crystal into a special slot on the altar. It should be able to filter and direct starlight for the crafting process, allowing this for... Hmm. I don't remember that being a thing. The results in infused concentrated essence. I'm not sure. Boy, let's go back and look at the other chapter. I might have to uh, stop and experiment. Let's see. Right here, iridescent altar. It was telling me to make this. Uh, let's see. Additional items occasionally need to be added during the process. Spectral relays have to be added onto the sooty marble. All right. Well, maybe it's more than four. You know, we have them. Let's, uh, let's experiment here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. Oops, let's not break the sooty marble. You know, I'm just going to add some on the corners, I think. I don't remember five being a thing, but I've never made this before. All right, so we're about to lose the starlight, so let's not mess this up. Let's go ahead and skip to tomorrow night. Uh, let's see, skip to moonrise. And we'll let the day go by, and then I'm going to need these guys. And I should be able to just plunk them in there wherever it asks for it. And I know I can make uh, different, you know, towers right here that would let me work like 24 hours a day because it would beam a lot of this stuff in there. And I might need to, uh, but I don't have to right now. We should be able to get lots of starlight. Yeah, I'm almost there already. All right, come on. Just a little bit more. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, go. All right, so now we're just going to watch, right? It should tell me to plunk these things down. Yep, it's asking for one right there. All right, there you go. And then, you know, it's just going to be, I guess I got to do a couple of these. I think it said five, maybe. And then we should get this other thing, and we'll go see what it does. Oh, nope, number five came up. Cool, 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 cool. Make me whatever this doodad is. The official term in Astral Sorcery. Make me all the doodads. Because then I can plop that guy over there, over there. And, you know, that should be just about automated. But I want to see how to interact with it. Because I might have to move that starlight process over there. Man, this takes a while. It's not asking for anything else, is it? I don't see that it is. Oh, is that it? Yes, that's it. Now we got ourselves a chalice. All right, so let's do this. I feel like you might benefit from going right above this guy. I don't know that, but I feel like you should. Like right there. I don't know. Is that the right place for this thing? All right, so it does not have an interface at all, can I, I can add like that, okay, coolness is occurring, all right, let's grab some cable, I wonder if I can just export from refined storage, uh, so let's grab some cable, right, and uh, let's see, an exporter, yep, and I probably need, ah, I knew that was going to happen, I probably need a bucket of starlight. Woo, down to 100 buckets. Okay, hold on. I got to do one thing before we run out of liquid starlight. We got to pick up all these crystals. Because they are just eating up all the starlight that I've got. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's put these guys away here real fast. So I've got my almost good crystals. Let's see. You're all my, yeah, you're all my good stuff. Right? 100, 100. That one's good. This one's awful. 57. Uh, 44. Oh, wow, that's awful. And 63. You're awful. All right, so, you know, I've got plenty of crystals. 
All right, let's see if we can uh, export to this guy. I just want to know. Because then I can rearrange this whole place to be a little more pleasing looking. I mean, it's kind of ugly. Right now. All right, so let's go ahead and let's try to export directly into this guy Liquid Starlight. It is not doing it. Okay, it is not accepting it like that. But if I were to bucket it, okay, so it takes buckets. All right, so that means I would have to put in buckets of liquid starlight and pull out buckets. And I probably could do that with a mechanical user. For right now, I'm just going to give it a bunch from a thermos. Right, so, oops, there we go. All right, nice and full. And hopefully this works. I might have to move it. So let's go over here and let's get some more gems. Resonating gems. Let's go ahead and craft like a stack. And let's see what happens. Because every once in a while, this guy is going to run out of starlight. And it should pull from this guy before pulling from the sides. And let's see. This guy has already used... Oh, not even a bucket. He used 400 millibuckets. All right. So clearly, all I've got to do is fill this guy up. And, you know, I'll try other pipes. Maybe I can use tanks or something that'll push inventory. I don't know. I've got to check it out and see what I can do. But cool, man. Now we got this thing completely automated or like 99% automated. I wonder if top and bottom is a thing, right? Like if top's a port on it. Let me just read for just one second. Let's see. Uh, you were over here in Radiance. And you were right here, right? Holding up to 24 buckets. Some sort of chalice holding whatever fluid on top of it. Compressing it into a more manageable size. Really? 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 Oh, no! No! <sighs> I broke the thing. Hold on. Let's grab some marble. We need some marble stat. I think it was this marble right here. Let's chuck some of this stuff back. We gotta fix that thing. And then I'm gonna try this one thing. All right, so I think all I'm missing here is that block. This was just a piece of stair. Yep, okay, that's back working. So what if I put my singularity tank on top? Would you pull from the singularity tank? You've got 32 buckets. You're suddenly... Now, I wonder if it means, like, on top right here, not, like, on top, on top. All right, one more test, and then, you know, I'll go experiment offline. Uh, let's grab a fluid duct and make sure it's hardened so things don't explode. And a servo. I just want to know. This is why we do this. Because if I could export to a tank and then export into this guy... Okay, so you don't hook up. All right, you don't hook up. That's good information. Yeah, it doesn't hook up at all. Okay, so maybe mechanical user with buckets or something, but I mean, honestly, it holds 24 buckets, and we've already used not even four, and we've done a whole bunch of gems. I mean, that's kind of awesome, right? It is auto crafting. Uh, I don't have a crafting terminal here, but... I like it. I like it a lot. I can now make all kinds of crazy enchantments. We've got all of these pieces. And I think I've gotten what I wanted out of this mod. I'm going to continue to work on this guy in the background. Uh, and then we get to move into something else. So I think that's pretty good. The Sky Donut has done well for us. Uh, so I'm 47 Mark IV, and hey, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know, leave me a like or a comment. I really appreciate that. And then I will see you all in the next episode.